Here's a list of top 10 richest people who are not on Forbes magazine. Presented by Highbrow Talks. Starting at number 10 is Kim Jong-un. The supreme leader of North Korea is rumored to have a personal net worth of over $5 billion due to his control over the country's economy and assets. Kim Jong-un is believed to lead a highly privileged and lavish lifestyle as the leader of North Korea. He reportedly lives in a large palace complex in the capital city of Pyongyang, which is surrounded by high walls and guarded by a large military force. The palace is said to be equipped with modern amenities such as swimming pools, cinemas, and luxury cars. Kim is also known to have a taste for expensive and rare items. For example, he reportedly owns a private yacht and has been seen wearing expensive watches and smoking expensive cigars. He is also said to have a large collection of luxury cars and other high-end items. In addition to his personal wealth, Kim is believed to control the vast majority of the country's resources and assets, including a large military force and numerous factories and mines. However, it is important to note that information about North Korea and its leader is highly controlled by the state, and much of what is reported about Kim's lifestyle is based on speculation and unverified sources. At number 9, we have Imelda Marcos, the former First Lady of the Philippines and is rumored to have amassed a fortune of over $10 billion during her husband's presidency, which was marked by allegations of corruption. During her time as First Lady, Imelda Marcos amassed a large collection of shoes, with estimates ranging from 1,000 to 3,000 pairs. She also reportedly owned a large collection of jewelry, artwork, and other luxury items, some of which were acquired through questionable means. The Marcuses were known for their extravagant spending, which included building numerous grand buildings and infrastructure projects across the Philippines. Some of these projects, such as the Cultural Center of the Philippines and the Philippine International Convention Center, were designed to showcase the country's culture and history, while others, such as the Coconut Palace, were built as private residences for the Marcos family. After the fall of the Marcos regime in 1986, the wealth of the Marcos family was extensively scrutinized, and Imelda Marcos was accused of corruption and embezzlement of public funds. However, despite numerous investigations and legal battles, much of the family's wealth has never been fully recovered or accounted for. Today, Imelda Marcos is still involved in politics in the Philippines and continues to be a controversial figure. At number 8, it's Gennady Timchenko. The Russian businessman is rumored to have a personal net worth of over $20 billion due to his control over various investments and businesses in Russia and abroad. As a prominent businessman, Timchenko is known for his opulent lifestyle. He reportedly owns a large collection of luxury cars and has been seen driving rare and expensive sports cars. He also owns a luxury yacht, the Alfa Nero, which is estimated to be worth over $200 million. However, Timchenko's business dealings have also been the subject of controversy. He has been accused of having close ties to the Russian government. At number 7, it is Hassan al-Bolkia. The Sultan of Brunei is estimated to be worth over $20 billion due to his control over the country's vast oil and gas reserves. Hassan al-Bolkia is the Sultan of Brunei, and he is known for his lavish lifestyle. As one of the wealthiest individuals in the world, he has access to a wide range of luxurious amenities and experiences. Properties The Sultan owns an extensive collection of properties, including the Istana Nur al -Iman, which is the world's largest residential palace. He also owns several other palaces and properties around the world. Cars. Hassan al Bokia is a well known car enthusiast and has an impressive collection of rare and expensive cars. 7,000 cars worth over $5 billion. His collection includes several Rolls Royces, Ferraris, and Bentleys, among others. 
private jets. The Sultan also owns a fleet of private jets, including a Boeing 747-400 and an Airbus A340-200. The luxurious jets have interior in gold and looks very rich. At number six it is David Hamilton Koch. The American businessman and philanthropist was worth over $50 billion and not included in the Forbes billionaire list before his death in 2019. Properties Koch owned several properties around the world, including a luxurious apartment in New York City, a vacation home in the Hamptons, and a large estate in Aspen, Colorado. Politics Koch was a prominent political donor and supported conservative and libertarian causes. He and his brother, Charles Koch, were known for their support of Republican candidates and organizations. Business Koch was the co-owner and executive vice president of Koch Industries, one of the largest privately held companies in the world. The company has interests in a wide range of industries, including energy, chemicals, and manufacturing. Hobbies Koch had a passion for collecting art and was known for his impressive art collection, which included works by Monet, Renoir, and Van Gogh. He was also an avid sailor and owned several yachts, including the 110-foot Invader. At number 5, we have Ali Khamenei. The supreme leader of Iran is rumored to be worth billions due to his control over various assets and businesses in the country. A six-month investigation by Reuters has said that Khamenei controls a financial empire worth approximately $95 billion. Properties It is believed that Khamenei owns several properties in Iran, including a residence in Tehran and a summer retreat in the mountains outside the city. Security As the supreme leader of Iran, Khamenei has a large security detail that ensures his safety and protection. Politics. Khamenei is a powerful political figure in Iran and wields significant influence over the country's government and policies. Overall, information about Ali Khamenei's lifestyle is limited, and much of what is known is based on speculation and unverified reports. However, as a high-ranking political figure, he undoubtedly has access to various privileges and amenities. At number 4, we have Mohammed VI of Morocco. The king of Morocco is rumored to be worth billions due to his control over various investments and businesses in the country. He was listed on Forbes only since early 2015 and has a net worth of $5 billion. However, there are claims from multiple sources that suggest that the king and his late father, King Hassan, are worth over $100 billion. Properties. Mohammed VI owned several palaces and properties in Morocco, including the Royal Palace of Casablanca and the Dar al Maksan Palace in Rabat. Cars. The king is a car enthusiast and has a large collection of rare and expensive cars, including vintage cars worth over $600 million. Private jets. The Sultan also owns a fleet of private jets, including a Boeing 747-400, which is equipped with all the amenities. The king uses this for his international tours across the planet, and his son uses the Gulfstream G650 for his travels. 3. Possible Trillionaires on the Planet Look at the richest men in the world. Like they look at like Warren Buffett and Bill Gates and all those George Soros, bill all those billionaire dudes. characters. Yeah. That they're not really the richest men in the world. That the real richest men in the world are these Saudi guys yep. and a lot of these oil guys. But they're they're monarchs and they they don't have to disclose their wealth. They never do. Yeah. It's not like they're the CEO of a corporation. No. They're they're head of a royal family. They, they owe no government any indication of what their earnings are. So, so this dude who knows one of those cats was telling me that he's probably a trillionaire. Fuck me. And I was like, what? I go, that's real? And he goes, yeah, I got it. I didn't know there was trillionaires. He goes, it's very At number like three, we have Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the vice president and prime minister of the United Arab Emirates. He is rumored to be worth billions due to his control over various investments and businesses in Dubai. Properties. 
Muhammad bin Rashid al Maktoum owns several properties in Dubai, including the Emirates Hills, which is one of the most exclusive residential areas in the city. He lives in palace called Zabil Palace and the residential part just across of it. He is also known for his love of horses and owns a vast stable complex called Godolphin which is one of the many expensive things the king owns. Travel The ruler of Dubai frequently travels abroad and often stays in luxurious hotels and resorts. He is known for his love of yachting and owns several yachts, including the 162-meter Dubai, which is one of the largest yachts in the world. Overall, Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum's lifestyle is one of extreme wealth and privilege, with access to the best that money can buy. However, he is also known for his philanthropy and efforts to promote social and economic development in Dubai and the wider region. Second spot we have late Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayan, the Emir of Abu Dhabi and previous President of the United Arab Emirates, is rumored to have a personal net worth of over one hundred and ninety billion dollars. Properties: Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayan owns several properties in Abu Dhabi, including the Al Ain Palace Museum and the Emirates Palace Hotel. Travel: The President frequently travels abroad and often stays in luxurious hotels and resorts. He is known for his love of yachting, and owns several yachts, including the 147-meter Topaz, which is one of the largest yachts in the world. Overall, Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayan's lifestyle is one of extreme wealth and privilege, with access to the best that money can buy. However, he is also known for his philanthropy and efforts to promote social and economic development in the UAE and the wider region. At number one, we have Vladimir Putin, the president of the Russian Federation, and his lifestyle is one of power, wealth, and secrecy, while much of his personal life is kept private. Elon Musk, the richest man on the planet in 2022, according to Forbes, thinks the same. Being at a net worth of 230 billion, roughly, being perceived as the richest person uh, on earth. Well, does I, th I think Putin is significantly richer than me. You really do, yeah? Yes. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I can't go invade countries and stuff. I, I believe. <laughs> it is very much a possibility that Vladimir Putin could be worth more than a trillion dollars. Overall, Putin's lifestyle is one of wealth, power, and secrecy. While he is known to enjoy a number of luxuries and hobbies, much of his personal life remains shrouded in mystery. Could they truly be worth a trillion dollars? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Please like, share and subscribe for more interesting videos. Thanks for watching.